Hi guys, today Rajan is going to tell you about the hiking trip he went on last week with his dad and grandpa. Honestly, it was incredible. They went deep inside the woods and spent quality time together while exploring nature. Generally, when they visit a place they have never been to before, they use the Global Position System or GPS for directions. In the depths of the forest, however, they had no mobile network. All they had was a printed copy of the map of the forest, yet they managed to get the trail right. Do you know what helped them find the right path? A magnet. That's correct. Literally, just a magnet. Perhaps you're wondering, how can one replace GPS with a magnet? Well, Rajan doesn't blame you for questioning that. He was on exactly the same page until he experienced it firsthand. All he knew was magnets attract materials made of iron, steel, nickel and cobalt. But his grandpa is far wiser than he is. His grandpa knew about the power of magnets, so he tied a small thread at the center of his magnet and suspended it. In this state, the magnet by default, aligns itself in the north-south direction. The north pole of a magnet will always point north, while the south pole will always point south. This is known as the directive property of magnets. This was news to Rajan, but his grandpa turned out to be quite an expert at it. Soon after suspending the magnet, he located the north direction, using which they worked out our position on the map. Later that day, they decided that Rajan's dad would take one route while his grandpa and Rajan would take another and they'd all meet at a common point. However, they had only one magnet to help them with directions. But well, Rajan's dad had a solution. He pulled out a blade and cut grandpa's magnet into two. Rajan was shocked. But it wasn't long before his shock turned into surprise, for soon after that, Rajan observed that both pieces were behaving as individual, independent magnets. Rajan understood that the broken ends of the magnet became the new poles. As a result, the broken pieces had two poles of their own. What's noteworthy is that when Rajan's dad broke the magnet along with the length, the broken pieces had opposite poles. He later explained to Rajan that if he had broken the magnet along with the breadth, the resultant magnetic pieces would have been like poles. Hiking deep into the forest was an enriching experience, but learning how just a magnet can help navigate the path inside the forest was eye-opening. So, if you're planning to go hiking with family or friends, don't forget to carry a magnet with you. You never know when you might need it. Alright then, that's all for today. See you next time.